video, we're going to talk about three different shapes that we do with our body in gymnastics. So, find yourself sitting down first. You can sit on a mat or on the carpet is fine too. And this first shape that we're going to do is called a tuck position. So this is what a tuck looks like. It's when we're making our body into almost like a little ball. So see how I'm pulling my knees in towards my chest. And then to make it look better, make sure you're pointing your toes. So this is still a tuck, right? With my feet flat on the ground, but let's try to engage our muscles, be good gymnasts, and point our toes to make a better tuck shape. And maybe you can even balance without your feet touching the floor here in your tuck. So that's tuck, starting with a T. Now, let's stay in this tuck and see if we can rock and roll a few times without losing our tuck shape. So hug your knees into your chest, keep yourself in that ball. We're gonna rock back and then come up. So try that a few times. Rocking back and forth without losing your tuck shape. Just try it one more time. And come back up to seated. Okay, so that is our tuck. We're gonna move on to the next position, which is called a pike. So in a pike, we have straight legs, but our legs are always together. So here, I can show you. In my pike, my legs don't come apart at all. They're gonna stay glued together from my feet all the way up. So my whole legs are stuck together like I have some magic glue on there. And then from here, remember to point your toes. So in gymnastics, we like to point our toes as much as possible because it makes a nice line through our legs and our feet. And here we can do a pike stretch. Trying to reach our feet. So when your body is bent in half like this, this is a pike shape, okay? If you're sitting up like this, we could still call this a pike, but this is more like an L. So once we reach forward and we're reaching to our legs or our feet, this is what makes a pike. Let's try it with flexed feet too, just for an extra stretch. So see if you can reach and make a pike shape with your toes up. So that's pike. Just remember legs straight and together, and that's what that one is. And then our last shape that we're doing today is a straddle. This is where you need a little bit more space because we're opening our legs all the way up. Now, a lot of people think when they see this, they think I'm doing a split, but this is not a split. This is a straddle position. So my body is still bent at the hips and then my legs are straight but apart, okay? So in our straddle, we can do a stretch. So let's first just try to sit up straight in your straddle. So you shouldn't feel like you're falling backwards. We're not going like, we're not doing our split or laying down. So just sitting up in a straddle, point your toes, and then let's reach over to the right side. So this is my right side but because it's a camera, it might look like I'm going to my left. So think which is your right and try to reach over to your right side. And then let's reach to the left side. Here's my left side. And then reach to the middle. So this is how we can stretch in a straddle position. And you can also try with flex feet, just like we did in our pike. But when we're trying to make our straddle look nice and pretty, then we should always be pointing our toes, okay? So, let's talk about some other ways that we use our shapes. So, if I'm doing this, even though I'm standing up on my feet, what shape is this? This is a tuck, right? Because I'm in my little ball. So, you can try your tuck like this too, standing up on your feet and finding the balance. We can also roll in a tuck position, right? Like a forward roll. So from here, you can start in your squat and put your hands down, tuck your head under and roll. 
right? And I stayed in my tuck the whole time. So that's something that we can do with our tuck is our rolls. Now let's think about what else can we do with our pike. Try a standing pike. So let's stretch up tall first. Keep your legs straight and then touch down to your feet. So now I just made my body into a pike position even though I'm standing, right? It's the same. My legs are together and I'm bending my body in half. So that's what makes our pike shape. And we can also do a straddle when we're standing up. So without losing your balance, you can bring your legs apart to make a straddle. We can bend, we can touch the floor, and then come back up. So that's a nice straddle stretch. Now we already talked about the forward roll in the tuck position, but we can also do a forward roll in a pike and a straddle position. So let's start with tuck one more time, and then let's try the other ones, okay? This time we're going to start from standing up nice and tall. We're going to go down into our tuck. So touch the floor and make your body in the tuck shape. Hug your knees in, tuck your head in, and roll and stand up if you can. So why don't you try that? As long as you're on something soft. Don't do this on a hard floor because it's going to hurt your, the back of your head or your back. Make sure you're on a mat or a carpet or maybe even the grass, you can do it too. So hopefully you tried your tuck forward roll and you were able to do it. If not, just keep practicing, it's okay. And now let's try a forward roll in a pike. So this is actually a tricky one. We don't have to stand up at the end. We're gonna start stretch nice and tall. Now try to reach the floor without bending your knees. Remember, this is a pike when we don't bend our knees at all. And from there, you can tuck your head and roll and finish in a pike. See? So we were able to do a forward roll without bending our knees and doing a tuck. So if you didn't quite get it, try again. And then we have one more to do. So. Let's think we did tuck, we did pike, forward roll. What shape did we miss? Remember when our legs are apart, what's it called? Straddle. So we're gonna do a straddle roll. I better turn so I don't kick my wall. Make sure you always have enough space when you're doing your gymnastics. I have enough space here to show you guys a straddle roll because I'm not going to lose my straddle anywhere along the way. I'm going to keep my legs straight and apart for the whole thing. So see how I'm starting in a big straddle. Don't do one where you're going to fall down. We want to be able to stand up and then put your hands close to you, not too far away because then you'll get stuck. You won't be able to roll over. So find your straddle and put your hands in the middle, but not too far away from where your feet are. Then we can tuck our head and roll and stay in the straddle and come to here. So if you want that extra challenge, we're gonna push. And I was able to stand all the way up without losing my straddle shape. And if that's too hard, you can do like what we did with our pike roll where we finish sitting in the straddle, okay? So I'll show one more time. Hands down close to me, roll, and we can stop right here in the straddle. So, I hope you guys can remember those three gymnastic shapes that we talked about today. Our tuck, pike, and straddle. If you want, you 
you can try doing them in jumps too. So try a tuck jump, try a pipe jump, try a straddle jump, and it will be lots of fun. Thanks for joining me for this video. Bye.